Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the mobile game tutorial. So um, last time we had a timer, we also fixed the, uh, well fixed, we also created a real pause menu so when you press on pause it actually pause the game. And uh, what else did we do? We fixed the color that we had on this button that was kind of weird. And cool. Right, so um, in this episode we'd like to give some time for us, uh, not us, but we'd like to give some time to our user to actually look at the level. So um, if you hit level 1 right here, you're going to enter the level right away and the timer is going to start and everything, everything is pretty much just rushed. Now we're going to add a small buffer time, say maybe like 3 seconds, to first take a look at the level and then after that actually start the level. So um, something that I'd like to show you before we begin is how the camera be behaves in this case. So here is our camera for the game. That is where it is positioned, it's positioned at quite an awful place. Now what I'm going to do is select that camera, just have it in selection, take a um, nice angle of our level, so right now this is it. Of course this is a training level, it's not really good looking, but just take a good angle like so. Go under edit, or I think it's uh, assets, never mind, it's game object. Go under game object and do align with view like that and now your camera is gonna assume that position and also that rotation. Now if we hit play I'd like you to actually take a look at what it does. It actually starts right here and it moves in. That's because we have a smooth camera and uh, the camera pretty much just assumes that movement and then uh, slowly smooths towards the player. So we're gonna be using that to our advantage and actually wait before it's smooth. So stay about now. What's the button for pause? I think it's. Oh, never mind. We're gonna stay in the position it is at at the beginning here for like about three seconds, and then we're gonna move towards our player and actually give him the right to control the ball. Right. So um, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna be doing this in D. I believe that's the free camera script. Oh, never mind. No, that's uh, the one for. That's the special one that we're not going to use. All right. So for the camera motor, let's go in here. Camera motor. Open up that script in Mono Develop. And what we're going to do is actually create a small timer. So we have a start function in that script. Let's go ahead and declare ourselves a private float. Start time is equal to. We could be putting it on zero, doesn't really matter because we override it in the start. So start time is equal to time dot time. And in the update, we'll do if time dot time minus start time is um, smaller than three seconds, which is going to be our our buffer for you know the the amount of time we wait before the level starts. So if the time dot time if the duration is smaller than three seconds. Let's go ahead and call return, so we're not going to be updating anything. Now if we hit uh, play on this, it still has a behavior, that's kind of weird, let me just go check real quick. And this code doesn't seem to work and that's because we actually have to update, so that's a little thing that uh, we had to remember. Um, take this function that we just made, not this function, but take this if statement that we just made including the return call. And let's put it inside of our fix update as well. That's another place we need to put it. Okay, now if we hit play, we wait three seconds. That's our level. And then we start. Now, maybe three seconds is a little bit too much. So we could be putting it on. I'm thinking about uh, creating a field up here. So let's do a private const float. And let's do time before start is equal to 2.5. Now I'll be replacing that, um, these art coded fields here, like so. So it's going to wait 2.5 seconds and then actually start zooming in. So 1.5 and then it zooms in. Okay, now um, another thing that we'd like to fix is the fact that our player can move b uh, before that. So if we play, I'm actually allowed to move the ball around and that's uh, also a behavior we do not want. So we're going to be fixing that. 
right away. Now, where is our player? Here it is. On our player, it is the mutter script. We're going to open that up and actually give ourselves a three seconds before we can do anything. So, up here, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll declare a private const float time before start is equal to 3 in that case. I'll wait 3 seconds before you can move and I'll wait 2.5 before actually moving uh, the camera towards you. Okay. Now in the update up here we'll simply do the exact same thing so in fact I'll be copying this line and I'll be putting it up here. Now we do not have any kind of um, fix update but we do need a start time, so let's go ahead and declare that. Private float start time. Uh, that you can put on zero, but it really doesn't matter. So start time is equal to time dot time. And here it is. Now this is going to work. And we also have to put it inside of the boost. And that's because uh, it might actually add some force if we press on the boost button it would actually work and that's something we don't really want so let's try and hit play I'm actually trying to move my ball around nothing works and now it does but it, <laughs> I'm not sure if it didn't really work because I was I was not focused okay now I'm focused and it only started working after three seconds Talking about that, we also need to fix the timer because the timer starts, you know, it starts counting before the game actually takes place, before you can actually move. So we're going to go fix that as well. Inside of the, where is it at, the level manager, we have the start time somewhere. Here it is. Now there's multiple ways we can go about this, but uh, what I felt like doing is actually leaving the start time on the original time and just have a private cons float like we well, like we have in pretty much all the other ones so a private cons float time before start and we'll be putting it on three seconds as well and every time we actually calculate something we'll just be deducing that time so time before start is equal to three now as for the start itself we are not going to be putting it here. We are going to go in the update. And uh, where is the text? So the, the whole texting, so this is fine, this we can keep, but the whole texting, I want to be putting the uh, check beforehand. So I'll be taking it from, say, the camera motor, take this line, and instead of the level manager, go like this. Once we have that checked, the only thing we really need to do is uh, go down here where we calculate the duration. So where it says time dot time minus start time, we're going to be putting start time in parentheses and do minus time before start. Now if we hit play on this, we should actually see everything work fine. And um, almost. So let's go check out what's the issue here. We actually start at 6 seconds, so we just inverted that. That is my bad. Instead of doing minus, we actually have to do plus. Once more, let's play on this. So 1, 2, 3 seconds, and then it starts. Right. Okay, so that's a, that's a pretty good thing done. And that's going to be pretty much it actually for this episode, a uh, really short one, sorry about that, I don't have quite a lot of time today, quite in a rush actually, so um, if you guys enjoyed this video, just please leave it a like, it really helps me out. If you have any question or comment, you can always leave them in the comment section below or use the Facebook page that you can find in the description. So thanks a lot for watching and I will be seeing you guys in the next episode.